In this video, I'm going to be going over the new DJI Fly app 1.5.10 for Android. I'm going to be reviewing whether anything is new, and of course, I have flight tested it as well. And I'm also going to show you why you need to be really, really careful and especially diligent when it comes to checking which direction you are flying compared to the wind to avoid a flyaway. So let's get into it. So DJI have given us 1.5.10 of the DJI Fly app. You're possibly going to be aware by now that this app covers a great number of DJI drones, including the DJI Mini SE, Mavic Air, the Air 2S, the Mavic Mini, the Mini 2, and of course the Air 2S and the Mavic 3 as well. That is quite a lot of drones to run on one app, which basically means that if DJI make even the slightest change, it of course affects anybody that's using using the Fly app. So in the last update, we saw quite a few enhancements, mainly around the DJI Mavic 3, but for everyone else, we also got some new core settings in the pro video or photo menu as well. Just a nice little interface that just speeds up the process of changing certain parameters. Um, and on this one, sadly, if we look at the release notes, it is just general bugs and fixes. So what I have done is I've been out flying primarily with the DJI Mini 2 and Air 2S. Quite frankly, the reason why this video is a little bit late, uh, the this version of the app has been launched a couple of days now is because the weather has been absolutely horrendous i've just not been in a position where i could put any of these drones up in the air but i got up first thing this morning while the wind was still relatively low to try and actually bring you some flight data and flight testing to be able to advise whether i would recommend you install it now just to tell you right off the bat i have been through all of the menus on this app and for the drones anyway the ones that i would be concentrating on on this channel such as the mini se and the mavic mini which of course share the same sections of the app and of course the mini 2 and the air 2 and the air 2s as far as i'm concerned there is absolutely no changes nothing to report no particular bugs there is still a small issue on the dji mini 2 where you cannot actually reset the aircraft yacht rotation speed or brake breaking or smoothness if you wish uh, that still persists but apart from that everything seems to be working absolutely as it should so following on from that then i decided to take a couple of drones out on the banks of the humber to flight test them and let me tell you it was incredibly windy and genuinely really pushing even the dji mini 2 which we know is absolutely great in the wind to its limits at one point the DJI Mini 2 was just very simply getting pushed straight back to me. And also, not just the DJI Mini 2, the DJI Air 2S, which is synonymous with its high performance in the winds. At one point, that was even getting pushed back and blown towards me. Now, because of these incredible strong winds, I did make sure that I was always flying into the wind, making sure that should anything go wrong, the wind would be behind me on the homeward leg. By looking at the graphic I've placed on screen, you can see the direction with which I was flying compared to the overlaid wind direction using windfinder.com. So as you can see, you know, I was always flying into the wind and I purposely chose this location based on the wind direction to be able to do this test, knowing fine well that should there be a problem, of course, that I can easily get the drone back. And this is how you actually you know act diligently and how you can easily prevent a flyaway before you put your drone up in the air especially in stronger winds which i've encountered today always make sure like i've already mentioned you are flying into the wind and having the wind on the way back as a tailwind to ensure that should the winds pick up beyond the capabilities of your drone it's not going to start drifting completely away from you and of course the drone will always return but back to the evaluation of the actual app then i took a great number of flights i'm obviously only going to put snippets on the screen 
and I encountered absolutely no abnormalities whatsoever. As usual, I tried a return to home test uh, on the DJI Mini 2 and the Air 2S just to make sure that it was all performing as it should. And I even run the battery down low on one of the battery tests to see whether we got the low battery return to home uh, kick in as well. And I can confirm everything worked absolutely fine for myself. So, of course, please do let me know your experiences with this app in the comment section below. But as far as I'm concerned, this app gets the nod of approval from myself. And I would say there is absolutely no downside to installing it, should you wish to. Of course, I do appreciate that many of you do like to stick on those older apps. And if it's something that you want to go back to yourself, again, as with every DJI Fly app update video that I do, I will leave a link in the video description to my own personal Google Drive where you can download all the older versions of the DJI Fly app. And it just makes it nice and simple should you want to go back and maybe something that's a little bit more compatible with your device. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out some of the other content on my channel because it really does help my channel grow if you then go and watch a video after this. So what I'll do is I'll put a couple of suggestions just here and hopefully it might be something you want to go see. If you found value in this video, please do give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're awesome. See you again soon.